What's up, guys? It's Cody, Thompson Family Homestead. Working on the old uh, OBS 86 F-150. We're putting some lowering coils in it today. And then uh, later on, I'm gonna drop the rear with a flip kit and some shackles. But anyways, just wanted to do a quick video uh, showing the new coils and the difference and just kind of give you all a overview of what it looks like under there. And uh, maybe it'll help one of you guys out. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what we got going on. All right, guys, so here's the new coils. It's the old one, the new ones. Got them off eBay for a really great deal. I'll, uh, I'll drop the link in the description below so y'all can go purchase a set. They were way cheaper than uh, any of like the Summit, Jags, you know, the LMC. So if you're on a budget, I think these guys will definitely help you out. Uh, super fast shipping they got here in a couple days and uh, powder coated, they look nice. Pretty impressed with them, but anyways. On over here. So this is what the springs rest on. And I don't know if this uh, little rubber piece right here is factory or somebody added that, but it's literally just the inside wall of an old car tire. And then this slides in goes down to the bottom of the spring and uh this bolt right here is what uh keeps the spring on the perch of the uh i beam right there and then the top of it orientates into that little pocket a specific way to hold it up there and then there's a little clip that bolts in right there and you know if the suspension were to severely droop and Maybe your shock busted it'd keep the spring from just flying out. But anyways, uh I'll get her all installed and let you guys see what she looks like. I measured it before I had the uh springs out at ride height with you know all the weight on the springs and it was 30 and a half. So we'll see what we end up after installing the new ones. I don't think they'll uh completely settle until I drive it for a little bit, so I won't be able to get my true measurement until after 100 so miles or something, but uh, we should get a idea or not if they work. But anyways, let me uh, throw these jokers in and we'll go from there. All right, guys, got the new coils in there. Fit pretty good. Sitting in the base good. Got that strap up there like I was talking about. Shock all bolted back on. Looks like I uh, need some new bushings. Whole front end needs to be redone, but you got to do the cool stuff first and then do the uh, safety stuff. <laughs> but nah, uh, it uh, went good. Really impressed with these coils for the price. And uh, I will give you guys a little hint. This bolt right here was a uh, pain to get off. Luckily, I had uh, this socket right here. Inch and an eighth is what you're going to need to get that bolt off. I ended up actually having to use the crescent wrench at first just because there wasn't enough room to get that socket through the spaces in the coil. So I would probably say get you an uh, inch and an eighth wrench uh, pretty long because you're going to need some torque. That bolt's pretty rusted on there. This is, I'm guessing the original OEM coil, so I don't think that bolt's ever been off. So soak it in some WD-40 and get you a breaker bar, a long inch and an eighth wrench, and uh, go to town and have fun. But anyways, we'll get the wheel bolted back on and see how she looks on this side, and then I got to do the other side. She's all done. Looking pretty good. Just gotta get this uh, back end sitting down. You can see the big old gap, but she's definitely sitting a lot lower. We went from 
30 and a half inches to now she's sitting at 27 and three quarters. Fender's a lot closer to the top of the tire. I think it looks good. Can't wait to get the rear end set down. Gonna need an alignment though. Gotta get some of the uh, adjustable caster camber bushings. And then uh, she'll be looking real good and riding good. Anyways guys, appreciate y'all checking out the video. I'll keep more uh, stuff coming for you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.